Jared Branthwaite has once again trained away from the full England squad today. England faced Greece on Thursday, tomorrow even. Uh, it was unclear whether Branthwaite has travelled. Uh, apparently the coach that left uh, wasn't allowed to be filmed by journalists. So there you go, make of that what you will. Um, so we don't know whether or not Branthwaite's going to be fit enough for that game. I'd suggest he's not making the Greece game if he's not trained with the full squad in the two days. England also face Ireland on Sunday, so whether or not he's part of that squad remains to be seen. It remains to be seen. I'm sure Sean Dyche wants him ready to go for the home game against Brentford the week on Saturday. That's our biggest concern, and hopefully he'll be fine. He is apparently suffering some minor stiffness following his first full game for a few weeks in that nil-nil draw at West Ham at the weekend. Everton have been linked today with former Spurs managing director Fabio Paracicci. He has uh, been linked to move to Everton once the Freakins complete their takeover. There's a little complicating factor that he's basically banned till June the 30th from uh, doing a full-time role at a football club. Um, that p- sort of pertains to his time at Juventus before he went to Spurs. Um, he used to falsifying records and things like that, so... It's not great to have on your CV, is it? He's currently, according to reports, helping Roma out uh, in their search while they're trying to get a CEO and a new um, football strategy in place there. So he's there as a consultant. Obviously, those links have been put together uh, with Everton as well. And obviously, Kevin Thelwell as well is um, some concern over him for his future, given his out of contract this summer, of course. And these reports saying that... Put, if it is Paratici, he could become Everton's new director of football. I'm not totally convinced by that bit, but Thelwell is out of contract in the summer. There have been some rumours that he may well be offered a new deal, but right now that doesn't seem to have happened, uh, or it's certainly not being formalised and announced. And it probably won't be until the free can take over is done. Um, well, you wouldn't have thought so. Listen, it's football and it's Everton. Anything could happen. Of course it could, but we'll wait and see on both of those. Everton striker Beto has once again been linked with a move away from the football club in January. This time it is for Italian side Torino, who have apparently targeted the Everton striker who's yet to start a Premier League game this season. Um, Dominic Calvert-Loon keeping him out the Everton side. Bologna have been linked with him as well in January. Again, Everton have now got Armando Breuer back in training, so whether or not John Deitch feels as though Beto can go out if Breuer is available, we'll wait and see. And finally, reports today that Everton are prepared to allow Jake O'Brien, Yusuf Chimiti and Roman Dixon out on loan in January. O'Brien is uh, attracting interest from France, apparently, and obviously makes sense. He had a really good season for Lyon last season before joining Everton in the summer. He hasn't played, uh, hasn't been able to force his way into Sean Dyche's start in 11th so far this season. So lots of clubs looking at him from France. Uh, Roman Dixon made his debut, his full Premier League debut at Tottenham earlier in the season. Uh, but he is back with the under-21 side. And Yusuf Chimiti, who started, looked really sharp early on in pre-season before suffering an injury against Salford. He, is, uh, he has been out since. He's working his way back to full fitness. And there are you know, some reports that Everton will be prepared to let him go out for the second half of the season to get a bit of experience, match fitness up. But again, this the issue with this one is Dominic Calvert-Lewin is can sign a pre-contract in January with a club outside of England, but there'll be clubs who are probably looking at Calvert-Lewin, who's got, what, five months left, six months left on his contract come the January transfer window. If they make Everton a decent offer, then he could end up leaving anyway. So, And you've also got interest in Beto. So we're Everton really going to turn around all of those strikers in January? I'm not sure. So we'll have to wait and see on those as well. Uh, tonight, there is an interview out with uh, Mike Gittens, who is the head of data science and insights at Everton Football Club. Look out for that one. Uh, he's talking about how Everton uh, are going to transition season ticket holders from Goodison Park over to Everton New Stadium. So make sure you check that one out when it's available. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe if you haven't. See you later.